Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to create this look using clean makeup. I am very honored and lucky. I have received a PR package from the brand Merit, which is a new brand at Sephora that launched in January 2021. And uh, I'm going to play with some of the makeup they sent me. And they also provided me an affiliate link. So you can find these products at Sephora. But if you choose to use the link, uh, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me finish the rest of my face with some makeup I previously owned that are clean. So if you want to see how I created this look and hear my thoughts about the products, please keep on watching. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and to follow me on Instagram. As usual, don't forget to click on the little bell right here so you don't miss out on any new uploads. You'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. And without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, well, it's been snowing for 24 hours. <laughs> Me <and> May. <sighs> My skin is prepped. The brand Merit reached out to me and they asked me to select seven of their products. Hopefully, I selected the right shades for the little complexion sticks. Merit was founded by Catherine Power. She has a brilliant career and she co-founded What Wear with Hilary Cure. Hopefully I don't butcher the names, you know, in my French accent. And I, I really like Hilary too, like she has... <laughs> Hilary, we're friends. I really like her. She has a podcast called Second Life. It's really interesting. She interviews women who have a successful careers maybe started a bit later on you know as a, a second life anyway it's very inspiring and uh it's just really nice to listen she has a very nice voice and uh caffeine power is you should look her up because she's uh she's quite inspiring anyway and she wanted to create an accessible luxury brand that is focused on uh, less is more being minimalist and uh, just a little touch there and there, especially with the, the few, well, the two last years. Personally, I didn't wear as much makeup and being a new mom, I don't have always time. Of course, I love a glam look, don't get me wrong, but on an everyday basis, like I, I don't have much time and I need sometimes just to feel a bit good about myself, you know, enhance my my traits, you know, but erase like whatever I have. Like today, surprisingly, like I didn't sleep much, but I don't have too much dark circles, go figure. That's the box I got. And you get this beautiful little pouch here, like it's so cute. So here, I'm gonna show you close, like how it looks like. I think it's super cute, even for traveling. Or even like to go out. I believe you get this uh, if you order uh, directly from their website for the first time. The packaging looks beautiful. They have that beautiful blue. That's the logo right here. Really like it. Very simple once again. All about simplicity. Luxe. This is how the complexion affecting stick looks like i got two shades i got sand and camel i wasn't sure which one i would be so i'm just gonna i swatched it already on my story but that's uh, the shade sand and that's the shade camel Actually, it will be better when i'm more tan and i believe with sticks like this it's better if you warm up the product with your fingers and it's supposed to be a foundation, a concealer, everything in one product and all in one. So let's try the shade Sand. And for those who don't know me, I have hyperpigmentation here, little spots under the eyes due to pregnancy mostly. And uh, oh, that's covering pretty well. So it's nice, like it's a little touch and go thing, you know, touch, touch up. Well, actually the shade Sun is perfect. It's a perfect match. 
I have dry to normal skin. This is blending really well. You know, that is the perfect match. Happy. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you in just to show you. Look at, look at that. It's melting onto the skin very, very easily. Oh, I'm actually really impressed. I was not expecting as much coverage here. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a, a brush, something a bit dense. I'm just gonna do that. Don't. Just to make sure I get all the uh, creases here. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, it covered so well that spot here on my lovely hyperpigmentation here. I've been looking for something to cover this for months now. And obviously I know this sent me PR, but I will give you my honest review. So far I'm impressed, well you, you, you can see. So I started to do the, the forehead, then my camera stopped. So once again, I do that. Here it's, well, it's still good for my forehead. Could maybe use um, a shade camel. I don't know if the shade camel would be dark enough to be a bronzer. I should have picked a, I just was afraid I was going to pick the wrong shade for a complexion stick. So I picked two two that I thought could match me and I think camo will be perfect for this summer but let's uh, let's see as a bronzer that's not it's not gonna do much it will be perfect though for my summer tan I think it cancelled not that I had a ton of dark circles but it did a pretty good job here so I'm going to try to stick to clean beauty and cream products they don't have a bronzer I could have picked uh, another complexion stick but uh, you know what that's okay we're gonna use something else that is clean and that's the tower 28 bronzino illuminating bronzer this is west coast All right, we're gonna use the same brush well the two blend together beautifully put more on that side so I'm gonna add a tiny bit here to be a bit more bronzed It looks really good. Let me add a tiny bit more light here. Wow. <laughs> okay, now let's try from the brand Merit once again the highlighting balm. So they have two shades and I got the darker one. It's not that dark. I believe the base for both of the shades is quite translucent and then it's just the shimmer that is uh, either lighter or more like on the, the rose gold so I got the darker one bounce and I swatched it already in my insta story it feels pretty oily and this is the shade bounce to apply it on the high points of the cheek super natural like there's no uh, chunks of glitter or the shimmer is not even perceptible it's just a glorious wetness it's nice it's lovely no scent for the blush I have two shades so I got the shade mood and cheeky so mood could be a bit intimidating because it's a dark one I can't remember if it's the darkest 
and Chiki is more like on the berry side. Mood, I would say, is more on the the wine, the wine side. Uh, and I think I'm gonna use Mood today. And when you swatch it, like it, look at that. It looks like it's really pigmented. So I'm gonna apply it with my finger. I knew it would be pretty. I knew it. I have another one that I really wanted, but it was sold out. Uh, it's called Terracotta. But this is very pretty. I did swatches uh, for both shades on my Insta story too. Maybe I'll show you quickly. Look at that, how beautifully it melts onto the skin. That is gorgeous, gorgeous. And so Merit kindly offered me an affiliate link. So if you wanna order from them, I don't wanna push you, you do whatever you want, <laughs> but I appreciate your support. Here, I'm just gonna do the nose too, like I was outside and I got a little sunburn. Look at that, that's gorgeous. It melts onto the skin beautifully. It did not move the foundation. It gives that beautiful glow. Okay, so this is the shade Cheeky and this is the shade Mood. So Cheeky is definitely more on the, the pink berry. It would be really pretty for this summer too. It's very glowy, but it does not emphasize my pores, which is very, very interesting. Use a bit of powder. I'm gonna do that because it's part of my routine process uh, cloud set. Just a tiny bit, right there. I am going to use now the bro product I got, and this is the Voluminizing Pomade. And I got the shade Blonde. So this is how the packaging looks like. And oh, it looks like it has a fiber in it. Do you see that? Like the brush, now I feel I'm more used to like an eyebrow pencil, just because here my brows are uneven. I feel like I need just a tiny bit of filling here, just because my eyebrows are uneven. That's the Kosas brow pop. Okay, I just added a bit of eyebrow pencil and let's apply that again. I do feel like it keeps them in place, uh, but it doesn't feel hard at all. The color is perfect. The shade blonde is perfect for me. Ooh, I broke your brows all of a sudden. <laughs> it gives a lot of volume. And uh, for the eyes, so I'm gonna try to put the shade camel in the crease with a little blending brush. Let's do actually the old lid. Does it do something? Not much. Too close to my skin tone, maybe. Well, it evens out the, cancels the little veins and redness on my lid. So, okay. And you know what? I'm just gonna apply the last product I got from them. Uh, that's a tinted lip oil, and I got it in the shade Eau Naturelle. So this is how it looks like. No scent. It feels very nice on the lips. Yeah, it's very pigmented for a tinted lip oil. It feels very nice on my lips. 
all the colors look pretty, so I don't know which one to pick, but this one I feel it's pretty universal. It looks really nice. It feels nice too. On the eyes, I'm going to use my Rowan Beauty Eyeshadow Palette, 75 degrees. It's been a while, so I'm just gonna play with this. I don't have a lot of Clean Beauty eyeshadows. I was I wanted to try Victoria Beckham so bad that custom fees are awful. So I'll try to order it when I'm in France. <laughs> we'll see. I'm just gonna play with all these shades. It's been a while. Just love cream shadows for that. Like it's just quick and easy. Using this shade on the lower lash line. Little shadow. And then let's use that Nikki Dust right there. Okay, and I'm gonna use this shade in the inner corner. Oh, it's actually really gold. <laughs> okay. Okay, and now let's do that on the other side then. We've got a semi editorial here. Looks like I have a uh, little chunks of gold leaves on the eyelid. It's actually pretty. More light for you. Look at that. It's a bunch of yeah, chunky glitters, but I I like it. Just need to set with a bit of powder in the, the crease because otherwise I might crease a tiny bit. Um, I'm gonna quickly do a little liner, a little thing in my waterline and tight line, and uh, I'm gonna put on some mascara. I have a clean mascara. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I got a mini one. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try the Ilia Limitless Mascara with you. This is the After Midnight one, and this is a mini size. This is how the brush looks like. Building up really nicely, and it gives me that feathery look, which I like. Yeah, it's too bad uh, I couldn't try the Merit Mascara. Have you tried it? Let me know. This one looks really good. Look at that. Right, well, the mascara looks great and it's fast. It gives that feathery look. Uh, I really like it. I just feel I need more, you know, because we're on that. Uh, uh, sparkly journey here. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of this shade right there. Just to finish the look. And that light gold one. It's like I'm crying gold leaves. <laughs> and I just want to add a tiny bit of the Merit Complexion Stick just to make sure that it's nice and bright under because I like that. You know me. I 
that for touch ups too actually it's very nice so that's it that's the final look and i like it it's simple but uh it's a minimalist glam look <laughs> now i feel okay let's see i may look a tiny bit look a tiny bit shiny here in the center i usually powder so i'm just gonna do that very quickly to cancel the shine and that is the finished look my friends so what do we think so for the perfecting complexion stick i think it's a great tool i like the idea of having something all in one i like that it actually really brightened under my eye the shade Sand was my perfect match right now and Camel will be perfect I'm sure for the summer but I like that because I added a tiny bit more like I layered on under my under eye and wherever I needed more coverage I didn't need to put any concealer or corrector and you know me, I love being bright under the eyes and it worked out really really well I was surprised by the amount of coverage that you get uh, with a little stick i was not expecting that and especially like it really like it covered very nicely my hyperpigmentation here here uh you know the little spots that bother me usually and um i think it did a great job so i will let you know at the end of the day how it wears but so far i think the the skin looks really good for someone who has dry to normal skin it looks quite glowy so very pleasantly surprised by these the blush i found this one the shade mood is a beautiful shade like it's like that wine shade on fair skin tone darker skin tone like you can build up the intensity and uh, i'm sure you can use this on the lips as well so i like that it's a multi-use product as well the the packaging feels very light it's plastic and i'm, I'm pretty sure this is made to uh, be easy to recycle then the highlighting balm in the shade bounce i feel like it's a beautiful um, glowy product if you like to look wet uh, if you don't like metallic highlighters if you don't like to have chunky glitters in your highlighter or either like um, the shimmer being very present here it's mostly like a a, a gloss i would say for your your cheeks very pretty and i'm sure it will be pretty on the lips too i'll try that later the voluminizing pomade in the shade blonde i do think it gives a lot of volume to your eyebrows and the, the thing that is nice is like they feel very very soft they don't feel uh hard like you know when you put uh, eyebrow gel on usually they get a bit stiff stiff to get hard <laughs> Uh, here it's very very soft the color was the right shade for me now i don't find it has a, a ton of pigmentation right off the bat but after like all of a sudden i find like okay i build up and now like i have a nice bulky brows in a good way you know i still need an eyebrow pencil to even now to you know make it more symmetrical but this is a nice product the, the packaging is a very nice too this little detail here with a logo I really like the brush I feel like it it's gripping the hair very nicely so and it, uh, it distributes the product very evenly the tinted lip oil I wish I had more shades <laughs> because I really like that it feels like nothing on the lips like it feels like a, a lip balm um, but the the color is quite pigmented I can layer on and get like a full-on color so for this shade au naturel i find that it's leaning towards the terracotta undertone so i like to do that with most of my glosses lip oil products i like to blend it with my finger really really lovely so i'm curious to uh, try more shades the bronzer from tower 28 it's not new to me but it's a lovely cream bronzer if you like something a tiny bit shimmery but it's not 
crazy shimmery but it gives you that beautiful tan and glow the rowan beauty eyeshadow palette 75 degrees i haven't played with this one for a while now and uh it, it, it's beautiful i just love love these uh eyeshadows and I just uh, I forgot about it because I get a lot of makeup and this is one of the thing that Merit and well Kat, Catherine Power talks about it's like we get so much makeup I forget about it you know and then I play again with it and I'm like this is gorgeous I'll come back a bit later to do a check-in and let you know how everything wears but so far this is how it looks like I'm gonna zoom you in. This is how the skin looks like and the eyes. Look at that. It really colored really nice in my hyper pigmentation. I'm pumped about that. Alright, just a quick check-in. It's 10.30. I've been wearing the foundation for 10 hours and I have to say it looks beautiful beautiful so i don't know how it performs on oily skin uh i have dry to normal skin i still have a nice like glowy base which i i love i have to go my baby is teething she's not happy so i just really want to do a real quick check-in just to let you know that the skin looks fantastic so i'm really really happy okay back to the conclusion gotta go it's an interesting brand i am curious to see if they're gonna come out with more products because right now their uh, peach is like seven products for everything i would love to see something for eyes what would you like to see from that brand something else well a bronzer would be nice although i'm sure you can use another of their uh, complexion uh, stick in a darker shade that is it my friends that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching take care and i will see you in the next video